Hello and welcome to Code Basics Coding Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about multiprocessing in Python. Now, if you have not already watched my video on multiprocessing versus multithreading, then I would highly recommend watching that. Also, watch my tutorial on multithreading. Once you watch these two, then you can continue with the tutorial on multiprocessing. All right. So here in this code, what I'm going to do is I have an array of numbers and I'm going to create two different processes which will work on these uh, numbers. So the first process will calculate the square of these numbers and the second one will calculate the cube of these numbers. All right. Fairly simple. OK, so let me create my first process. So I will say P1 equal to multiprocessing dot process. OK, and here in the target, you need to mention the function which is going to be executed as part of this process. OK, so my first function will be calculate square. And I'm going to write the implementation of this function in a minute. And then the second argument is the args, which is your array. OK, and since it is a tuple, you need to put a comma here. OK now let's implement calculate square function okay so the input to this function is a numbers list and you are iterating through these numbers and all you are doing is just printing the square of these numbers okay so i'm just printing n star n and i will create another function which will calculate the cube okay so it will be called calculate cube and it will just calculate the cube okay so my second function I'm going to create a second process call it a p2 and in the target I will mention calculate cube okay now you need to start these processes so when you create a pro process uh, using this instruction it doesn't get started automatically you need to call the start function on these two processes all right so after this only both of these processes will start execution one more thing you need to do is join so what join will do is it will wait until the execution of these processes is over and after that you are printing a done statement okay so that you know that you are done uh, with both of these processes okay now if you notice this syntax it's quite similar to multi-threading so in multi-threading you import a multi-threading module and you create a thread and even threads have start and join call so if you are already familiar with uh, threading, multi-threading in Python, then learning multiprocessing will be very easy in terms of uh, syntax, core syntax at least. Okay, so let's execute this program. Excellent. So it printed square and cube of these numbers. All right. Now all of these activity happen under two different processes okay now if you want to see these processes into your windows task manager then you need to introduce some delay here so that we can see those processes while they are still executing so i'm going to just add some delay to make these functions execute a little slower and then we'll open windows task manager okay so i just started the execution and you will see this thing being printed here so while it is printing open the windows task manager go to details tab and search for python so here you see these three processes one two three one is for the parent program which is the main program and then there are two processes for p1 and p2 now they went away because the execution is complete when you're doing multi-threading you don't see the processes like this okay so that's a difference 
okay so far so good now instead of printing the result let's store the result in a global variable okay so square result and to keep things simple I'm going to create only one process okay so let me remove the second process here So I'm removing the second process. So I have now only one process. And I am now going to store the result into this global variable. And I'm going to call okay, so and and start and okay. And I need to define this as a global so that it recognizes that it's a global variable. And once this is done, I'm going to print the result here. Okay, so let's execute this and see what happens. Okay, I need to remove delay. All right, executing it. All right, interesting. So result, it says it has no elements into the array. Now, we already see it calculated the square number. So why is this blank? Uh, just think for a moment, why is it blank? Shouldn't it be uh, all these numbers, 4, 9, 64, 81? No, it won't be like that because uh, when you create a new process, what happens is it will create a new copy of square result uh, global variable. Every process has their own address space. So this process P1 here will copy the global state and create its own address space so that uh, the, cop the copy of square result is different and the result doesn't flow back to this global variable basically. So if you print the same thing within a process, then it will work. So here I am going to say within a process result. So you can see that within a process, it has the result outside process it doesn't have a result all right so this is the key difference between multi-processing and multi-threading if you were using multi-threading you will see the square result being filled with all the square numbers here okay so that's the main difference okay so in this tutorial we just covered very very basic uh, concepts about multi-processing we have a lot more to cover like Locks, mutex, uh, interprocess communication methods such as Q and pipe, all of those will be covered in the future tutorial. All right, until then, please don't forget to subscribe, share, and comment on this tutorial. All right, thank you for watching.